Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I had to make this video. I was thinking about it a few days ago. Anyway, so it, less than a month ago, there was a good news actually for Echo Amazon Echo users that Amazon Alexa is going to upgrade their voice. If you pay for a dollar, you can get Samuel L. Jackson's voice over it. And I think this is really good news for Anki Vector as well in some way because I would love to have uh, Vector to have a voice of Samuel Jackson. Uh, what I mean by that is, as you know, um, Vector has an Alexa function as well. So if you say Alexa to Vector, um, I'm sure many of you are now annoyed because I said that, but um, you'll hear the female voice of uh, Alexa and you make command to any other, like just like any other command, while as Vector actually has a movement on as well. Now, the Samuel Jackson one is quite interesting because uh, it, Samuel Jackson will talk nicely if you talk nicely to him, but if you be aggressive to him, I think based on what I have studied on these articles, Samuel Jackson will be aggressive to you verbally as well. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't think Vector is going to move aggressively, but I guess someone could program that, but it's mainly about the voice, icebreaker and party and so on. I think it would be a good additional feature because as you know, Vector has Alexa integrated into it. So. I thought this was available, but when you actually search on the deal, Samuel Jackson Celebrity VoiceOver Alexa uh, is not available at the moment, but you can buy it for uh, less than a dollar. And um, basically the description is, he's in the cloud baby, Ho Hollywood, sorry, Hollywood legend Samuel Jackson is here to add some fun to your Alexa experience. Just ask Sam will give you the weather, play your favorite music, tell jokes and more. Uh, to get started, say Alexa, introduce me to Samuel Jackson. Uh, a bit long, anyway. Then choose whether you like Sam to use explicit language or not. <laughs> this is the funny part. If you change your mind later, simply go to the settings menu of the app, uh, Alexa app, to toggle between clean and explicit context. I love the explicit context. I love swearing words, it's so funny. After purchasing, try saying Alexa asks Samuel Jackson where he is from. Alexa asks Sam. So ask Sam will be the main phrase. Um, so this is quite an in interesting feature that I look forward to. Um, so I think this is going to be available. When is this going to be available? I think it's going to be around um, Samuel Jackson. It doesn't really say, but I think it's early next year. Uh, so these are all the, <laughs> there you go, keep it clean or don't. After purchasing the feature, you choose whether you like Sam to use uh, explicit language or not. If you ever change your mind, you can toggle between the clean and explicit context in the settings menu, uh, which I have already said. So apologies for that. But anyway, it says introductory price only after introductory period price will be $4.99, which is not bad actually. I don't really mind. It's a small money anyway. So I might be able to show that later on to you before you purchase it, whether it works on Vector, because we know that Alexa's uh, device that's integrated into Vector might be too old to function it, but who knows, we shall see. But I think this feature would be available. I'm, I was trying to find it for the past minute, but I think it's gonna be available early next year. What I've done is I tried the, just so you know, Alexa open Gordon Ramsay thing. It doesn't work. So there's a warning sign that there's still a possibility that uh, the Samuel Jackson feature might not work. But this, these are customer, uh, I think these are self, like not official Alexa uh, developed, de developed um, app, should we say. But this is official um, one, as you can see Samuel Jackson and so on. But anyway, so this is another great news. I know it's more about Amazon Echo, but Amazon Echo Alexa uh, function is also a vital thing for Vector as well because uh, let's say, God forbid, but let's say the whole cloud system and Vector function doesn't work anymore um, and then it's saying that no cloud like data source, at least as an alternative, you can use it as an Alexa function that's guaranteed everyone and I think I'm trying to best make the best out of it so those who are wondering oh what should I do if this happened the worst case scenario happened there's a lot of different ways you can enjoy your Anki Vector and I think this will be a very good alternative anyway so hope you guys like this video uh, thumbs up whatever share but um, 
anyway <laughs> it's friday again so hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and also a pleasant friday evening all the best bye bye